Here is a patriotic American yes. who's joining us via Skype, Major General Paul Vallali. He's retired. Paul Vallali, great Paul yes, Vallali. Yes, he has served in Vietnam, retired as the Deputy Commanding General, Pacific Command, 1993. He's written a book, uh, is called Blueprint for Victory in the War on Terror. And what a perfect topic to talk about, to yes. write about, especially as we are looking at a situation where an Islamic terrorist comes to the shores of the United States, actually is homegrown and murders 49 people in Orlando, Florida. It is beyond comprehension. The war on terror is never ending, isn't it, General? Well, it's going to continue until we decide we're going to uh, formulate a strategy and uh, defeat ISIS and uh, the other radical Islamist group. And uh, with new leadership in America, we're going to do it. You know, General, um, you've been a patriot for so long. You have so many great organizations uh, that you support. Why do you give back time and time again? You've been a commander, too, in the field, too, as well. So you know this firsthand. Well, I do, Rita. And, of course, I've been into the Middle East five times in the last, uh, you know, uh, seven years. Uh, so I've had a lot of experience with our troops over there and uh, the units uh, that we've engaged in this uh, uh, war against radical Islam and terror. But as you well know, uh, we lost our son Scott uh, in 2004 in Special Forces. And at that time, uh, we took strides to uh, try to engender a very positive uh, outlook on what we could do after that for our troops. And we formed that Soldiers Memorial Fund, as you know, and started a, a gift care program, gift package program uh, into the Middle East, primarily Afghanistan and Iraq. And I'm just happy to see you're continuing uh, to do something for these troops uh, that are based overseas. You know, you talk about uh, the care packages. And, and by the way, uh, General Vowley and Muffin, his yes. wife, and your son, who I had the real honor of knowing, too, because yes. he was there at Fox News. When I was at Fox News, your son was a wonderful fine, fine man. I feel so honored to have met him, General. Uh, you talk about the, the incredible um, gifts. And, and as we're looking, we have all these great care packages. Um, why did you decide also care packages? Why do you think they're so special and so important? Because you've been on, on the other end where you see these guys and gals get these packages. What do they mean to them? Well, I had to go back about uh, 40 or 50 years uh, that when I was a young lieutenant and captain in Vietnam, and I can remember at that time my family uh, sending me uh, care packages uh, uh, at that time <laughs> with all sorts of goodies. The, the best thing they sent me were, were seasonings, pepper and Louisiana hot sauce so we could put into our sea rations. Oh, <laughs> it covers everything. I have to it tell you, those, those MRIs <laughs> do not taste good. I don't care yeah. who makes them, they still do not taste good. No, and the spam, and we had all sorts of stuff that was sent over, but... Uh, those rations uh, were uh, uh, really kept in storage after World War II and uh, Korea. So initially in Vietnam, we had those uh, canned uh, goods. They weren't MREs, meals ready for uh, eat, yeah. eating. So we had to doctor them up a lot. I'll tell you, those packages coming into Vietnam <laughs> were a God blessing, believe me. I know, I know. I have a friend um, who was a pilot, uh, a chopper pilot in Vietnam, and he was telling me about uh, the food and how awful it is. I don't think much has changed since then, um, but what has changed is the American public's perception of what is going on. And people honestly to this day think that all of our troops are home. There's nobody left in Iraq, nobody left in Afghanistan. And they're shocked when they, when I tell them what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and they, and they said, well, why? It's a waste of time because they're all home. But they're not, are they, General? No, they're not. And you know, we're really uh, in 40 different countries right now where we have special operations forces, advisors, uh, all the way to Korea, Japan, Okinawa, uh, even though they may not be engaged in a direct firefight or uh, uh, a battle, uh, they're still overseas and they still welcome those uh, packages. You know, we did a survey in Afghanistan, what would you like us to receive? And we got list in from the troops over there, so we we're actually buying uh, items that uh, they needed, uh, music, DVDs at the mm -hmm. time, games. So during their downtimes, they could uh, kill a lot of time, so to speak. You know, watching uh, watching DVDs or or playing these uh, these games. And so there were a lot of things. Talcum powder yes. was a big thing over there. Uh, and then we had to have a special list for the women. Yes. 
because they required different things. So it was it was a lot of fun putting that together and, and getting those boxes shipped over there. Well, General, we just want to say thank you because we love you and uh, thank you for the service of your whole family thank too. Thank you. You're the you're the best. Thank you. Thank General. you.